If you'll just start learning everything about HTML, you'll get bored and you'll quit. Hey guys, welcome to Coding After 30. Today I had the pleasure to continue my conversation with John Smilga, one of Udemy's top instructors. In today's video, we're going to talk about what does he mean when he says, learn enough to be dangerous. I hope you guys enjoy. Last video was great success, so we're happy to bring you the second video in the series. So if you want to see the rest of the videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And without any ado, let's jump into this video. The second item you have, it's uh, learn enough to be dangerous. Now, what do you mean by that? Let's say, okay, you get into HTML, right? You do not need to know all the elements. You right. don't need to spend three weeks, three months, learning all the elements, trying to repeat them and all that. Trust me, you'll use headings in the beginning. You'll use paragraphs. Yep. You maybe, maybe you'll use a form here or there or whatever. And then I can na name maybe other two, right? Yeah, right. So your point is, is like, I still like learn some stuff about HTML to this day. I'm like, oh, wow, right. I didn't know HTML did that. And that's it. But it doesn't mean that you have to like, you, if you'll just start learning everything about HTML, you'll get bored and you'll quit. That's right. usually how it's going to work. So what, what you need to know is learn just enough stuff so you can make something. Again, learn six tags, right? So you know them. Okay, so headings are for this, paragraphs are for that. I can make stuff and then move on. And the same with CSS, the same with JavaScript. I don't suggest, you know, learning everything that there is to know about JavaScript. JavaScript is every day you can learn something. Oh my God, you know, so I, much stuff. I still yeah, feel like I don't, I don't know <laughs> JavaScript. You I mean, know so, what I mean? So that's <laughs> like... <laughs> It's, it, I, I think that it's kind of, um, again, it, it's very hard to see that in the beginning because you think like normally, in, you know, in the rest of the fields, you're like, okay, I'll learn this, 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 and then I'll know everything. But there's really so much stuff that it's okay. Just just learn so you can progress slowly with the stuff, yeah, you know, and, and with build every stuff, yeah. step, then you learn more and more and more and more and more. And if something, if you get stuck on something, you can always go back and look it up. You can be like, hey, listen, what? how did you make a checkbox in form? Right? You don't need to remember that. That's that's not you. If you'll need it, you'll find it. Trust me. There's plenty of resources for that. Already. Yeah, and that's 100 percent. Like one of the issues I had is that I always because of that, I felt like I needed to know more HTML or more CSS, more JavaScript. So I actually kind of was paralyzed by that. And I've never gotten anything done because I was like, I don't know enough HTML. So I didn't start learning CSS. And so there was so much time that went by that at the end of the day, I wasn't able to build anything. And my friends like, look, you just need to know, like learn a few things, move on to CSS, learn a few things, move on to JavaScript, learn a few things and start building stuff. And that's kind of what I started to do. And like a lot of people ask me the question, when should you learn React? And I'm like, when you know basics of JavaScript, just start. And to your point, like you said, you could always go back and fill in the gaps or fill in the, and I think that's the best better way to learn and because I literally spoke to people that haven't started learning something like JavaScript because they never felt co comfortable enough with CSS and HTML and it's been like a year and I'm like yeah dude you, you gotta you force can, yourself you, you gotta can, start going like, forward and you can spend another two years you know it was hundred percent hundred percent yeah it's, it's definitely like it's good if you practice what you learn. So the point is you learn those few things, but then you try to apply the practice and whatever. So I don't suggest like building next Facebook with HTML and CSS. Yeah. Can you do it? Probably, but I mean, not the functionality. I'm talking about just the UI and, and look yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But my suggestion is to learn to learn small things, apply yep. them, and then don't spend three months on, on something. Instead, just, just slowly keep moving and you'll see what things you need to add. Then you'll know, okay, I need to add this and that to the form so I'll look it up how is the form element and what attributes it has and all that. Right. So as your requirement or like complexity projects, you know, yeah. or things you want to do increases, you'll be able to learn those things uh, as you go along. Well, exactly. More, exactly. Yeah, the, hey guys, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate you watching this video. I hope you guys got some valuable information. If you want to learn more about John, I'm going to put his link description to his YouTube channel, Coding Attic, in the pinned comment below. With that being said, thank you so much again, and we really appreciate you tuning in and watching this video. And if you haven't subscribed and you want to continue getting this great content, hit the subscribe button, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.